Tavis Sadi back again with another lesson in the series called Essential Elements for Strings, Violin Book 2. What you're going to want to do today is open up your book, Essential Elements for Strings, Book 2, to page 26 and 27, and we're going to have a lesson. Don't forget, you're going to want to make sure your violin is in tune by tuning with the tuner that I told you about in a previous lesson. And also, if this lesson is too hard, you're going to want to visit my playlist to watch and practice our previous lesson for a week. What we're going to learn about today is 6-8 time signature. 6-8 time signature means that there are going to be a total of six subdivisions of eighth notes in each measure. That looks like that. These are six eighth notes in one measure, grouped in groups of threes, and the feel is on the first eighth note and the fourth eighth note. Let me show you that on a G. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Can you do that with me now? Ready? Two, one, two, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 And I could also count it like this. One ta ta two ta ta one ta ta two ta ta one ta ta two ta ta and if I don't talk what it would sound like is this I don't accent but I kind of lean on the first eighth note and the fourth eighth note which gives it a two feel ba 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 let's go on to one fifteen the rhythm rap. And let's do that on a G. Don't forget, a dotted quarter note has three eighth notes in it, so you're going to want to count those eighth notes in your head while you play. My turn first, then you can join with me the second time on a G. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 Almost ran out of air there. Look at the last note, that dotted half note. That half note has three quarter notes inside of it. And if you split up those three quarter notes into eighth notes, how many do you have? You have six total eighth notes in a dotted half note. Ready to play with me now on a G? I'm going to count to six. Go ahead and find your G. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six, stop. Don't forget a dotted half note or any long rhythm you want to play all the way to the end of the bar. Lazy Day, number 116, has that same rhythm. And I'll play it first and you can play it with me twice. Don't forget, a lot of times I pretend there's a repeat at the end of the song. So we're going to do this three times. Ready? 116. I'll count to six. You can play with me now or listen and join the second time. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Your turn, go. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One seventeen hooked on six eight. Go ahead and look at measure three. The rhythm is a quarter note hooked into an eighth note, which sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Try that with me now. Measure three a bunch of times. One, two, three. Ready now. Play. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Don't forget quarter note, two eighth notes in it. Plus an eighth note equals three eighth notes. Times two is how many eighth notes in that measure? Six. So a little bit of math you have to do in your brain while you play this one. 117 hooked on 6-8. Let's play it slowly. Twice. I'll count to six. Find your D. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hook. One, two, three, four. Rest again. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, rest again. All right.
right, good. We're gonna go on to number 118, which includes a lot of these rhythms. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four, five, six. One, two, three, five, six. One, two, three, four, 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 five, six. Don't forget, if any of this is too hard, you're gonna to wanna to pause the video to practice. And let me show you what I mean by practice. Let's play the second line of row, row, row your boat. The second line, the first two measures of the second line, three times in a row. So we're gonna be playing measure five and six, three times in a row. Ready, I'll count to six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop, did you get it? If you got it, two more times. If you didn't, start over at zero. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's two, try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. That was three, so if you wanna make it stick in your brain, you can play it over and over again. This D major arpeggio, by the way. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Don't stop. That's what I mean by practice. You take the hard part, you play it until you like it, then you get it three times in a row and you can go on or add it together or you can play it over and over and over and over again so you never forget that hard bit. Going on to 119, slurring in 6-8 time. Now we have slurs that have three notes in a bow. Can you do that with me, just the beginning? One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Last time, four, five, six. All right, so let's try the whole song twice. Pretend there's a repeat at the end. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. Get it? A little bit of a tricky bit right there. All right, good job. And I'll preview 120 for you so you can practice it at home on your own. Here we go, 120. Jolly good fellow. Good, going on to page 27 with the 6-8 time signature. When music in 6-8 is played fast, it is easier to feel that pulse on beats one and four, and I'll show you what I mean. We're gonna do 121 on an E. Let's try it on an E, find an E, and listen first and then play with me the second time. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, go. So in six, eight time, you're gonna feel that grouping on one and four, which kind of makes it feel like it's in two. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two. And a lot of times musicians will count six, eight in two when they're playing fast. So let's do that for 121 rhythm rep. I'll count. One ta ta, two ta ta, and then we'll start. Find it. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five
find an E, play it on E. Ready? One, two, 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 two. One, two, three, four, five, six, one. One, two, again. One and a two and a one and a two and a one and a two and a. You hear that? One and a two and a one and a two and a. And that two feel gets a little bit stronger the faster that you go. One ta ta two ta ta one ta ta two ta ta. All right, one twenty two. Same rhythm, rise and fall. I'll play it once, and you can play it with me twice. Pretend there's a repeat at the end. One two three four five six. Your turn. One more time. Good. Beach walk, similar feel. One ta ta two ta ta. One ta ta two ta ta. This is one twenty three with slurs this time. Listen to it once and then play it with me twice. Pretend there's a repeat. One two. Your turn. One more time. Good. Don't forget to write in the time signature for 123 between between the key signature and the first note. That's where the time signature goes. It's first the clef, then the key signature, then the time signature, then the first note. That's the order of notation when you're writing time signatures. 124, May time. I'll give you a preview of this one and you can rewind the video to practice along with me after you fix all the tough spots. Here's May time. One, two, three, four, five. And don't forget, if that's hard, you're going to want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two. Slower, right? All right, good lesson, folks. Good work today. What you're going to want to do is practice this lesson every day for a week, and it can be found on my playlist on my channel. If you click on my name down below and you go over to the playlist section, it's Essential Elements for Strings, book two, because we already did book one. Also, hit that subscribe button down below, please. And go ahead and like this video, type a comment or question down below and I'll be happy to reply. And you're gonna to wanna to check out my channel for music that I wrote and some equipment reviews and other fun stuff that I have going on. All right, I hope you're doing well and don't forget to practice every day, folks. See you later, peace.